Good morning, Pikeys. Welcome back to Antigua, Guatemala. We are just headed out right now to go grab some food, and then we are heading to the Antigua football match. Apparently their mascot's a avocado, and there's like an avocado dude running around, so that'll be pretty hilarious to see. But yeah, I've never been to like a football match in a country where it means like a lot to everyone, so should be a lot of fun. Let's go. Slight change of plans. It's taking a bit longer here at the restaurant, so Ruben, yeah, Ruben and I are gonna stay and get some essential fats and proteins in our body. After the alcohol last night, my brain's just like, I need it. So we're gonna catch a Tuk Tuk over there after this and meet up with those guys then. Oh, hells yeah. Avocado, egg, cheese, pesto on whole wheat bread. Ruben, what are you rocking? This is the chapin. Chapin, and that's like something I need to try at some point. I got the fried plantains, the avocados, some beans, some eggs. Well, yeah. this is my black coffee. I know, we need some coffee now. About to smash. All right, so we are about to grab a tuk tuk and head over to the stadium. What do you got to say about that restaurant, Ruben? The service was awful, the food was delicious. The food was delicious, yeah. Between the two of us, there's almost nothing we will eat. <laughs> For real. I ordered uh, no bacon on my eggs and avo, and then there ended up being bacon like mixed in with all the cheese and stuff after it was in my mouth. But whatever, Ruben was the hero there, and he's like, just take my meal, let's just figure it out. So we gotta get to this game. Yeah, but then he doesn't eat cheese, and it was mine was covered in cheese, so I felt horrible about it. But yeah, we... We had some coffee, good conversation, so that kind of made up for it. On to the game. Yeah, let's do it. First lap, two two. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing here. Oh, it's a thing everywhere. Apparently, it's like a big import from Southeast Asia. The two twos here, except uh, I think they're quite a bit nicer on average. Una boleta, por favor. Cuarenta. Gracias. You. We are here. This is awesome. Vamos Antigua! This is an exhilarating first half. We're already up one nothing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Who's Antigua playing? I don't know. Some team from San Marcos. I don't even know where that is, but we're the purple, <laughs> and the we're the two-time defending uh, national champs. Oh, sick. Fire lantern totally just set on fire in the middle of the field. <laughs> Ridiculous. Well, wouldn't it be a Guatemalan fire lantern? True. Didn't have that's the Guatemalan. Why it didn't work. That's, that's probably why. Know. Didn't have the right juju. It's over. Antigua took the W. Antigua. We just stopped off in this sweet little Guatemalan or Antiguan dive bar here. It's super, super dope. And the prices are cheap because it's on the edge of town. Matt and I are just spit, splitting a litro of Gaia, which is one of the like slightly more expensive local beers. It's the Guatemalan staple, made in Guatemala. Yeah. It's a pride beer in Guatemala. Good stuff. Guys, I am just so happy to be here in Guatemala. Exploring a new country, meeting new people. I'm with this awesome group right here. It's a beautiful day. The people here are so nice and lovely. I'm just absolutely loving this. All right, now I'm headed back to the hospital. Guys, the band from the game right here just celebrating. Taking in the wave. Getting super drunk. Vamos Antigua! All right, sweet. Got some solid chill time at the hostel, did a little editing. These guys are headed up to some sort of lodge up in the mountains, and I was gonna pass to get some stuff done, but it's only like a two hour trip, so we're gonna go up there, hopefully get some sweet drone footage, enjoy the nature. Ah, I'm excited for this.
Well, doesn't look like we have much of a view tonight. <laughs> we entered the cloud layer like five minutes before we got here. And it's just clouds all around us. It's still pretty sweet. Would have been cool to see. We'll bring it, we'll bring it to the A little ocean farther place. out though. We have a 800 meter hike up to, what's it called? Bubble of my Prince Hobbitone. Hobbitone? Hobbitone. Hobbitonango or something like that. Yeah. We'll see what it's like. Yeah, it's like late at night. Got the butterfly house here, part way up the hike. This road is steep. Hola. Hola. That is so damn steep. We're in clouds. Are you on cloud nine right now? I'm on cloud nine. Well, I'm on cloud two. I wish there was more air on cloud nine, but it's pretty nice. Hola. Okay. This is crazy, guys. You can literally see the clouds moving right up the side of the hill. It's almost kind of misty feeling. It's like a very light mist. I think this is one of those spots where like looking back on this footage and thinking about it, it's just gonna be like, that was so damn cool and exotic. And why not, you know, drink a beer while you're walking up the steep hill. Who wants to come move into this lot? It's just like a lot of land, all landscaped up for a house to be built. Ready to go. And so many flowers. There's just fields of these purple flowers. Hola. By the way, guys, you've probably seen Kristen in the video the last couple days. I've failed to introduce so far, because <laughs> I'm a horrible vlogger, but yeah. Kristen's Matt's friend from a few years back. Yep. She used to work and live in Antigua, and she's just back visiting again. Four years. And it's her last day tomorrow, so. So sad. I'm glad we're hanging out and getting to have a little bit of an adventure. This is quite the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sick. The Vertigo Cliffs. All right, Hobbitonango. There she blows. All right, I see where it gets its name. Hola, buenas. Over here, there's more of the Hobbit houses that you can over here. Yeah, this oh. is like the restaurant here. So there's like Hobbit houses on the side of the hill? Badass. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. Straight out of Hobbiton. Dude, that is incredible. That's Bag's End over there. Bag's End? No, I don't know. Bag End? Bag End. <laughs> the house of Bilbo Baggins. This is so great guys. Just got a cheeky little Cafe Negro, or a black coffee, and they said I can fly the drone, so I'm gonna go, go walk over here and see if I can find a place to pop it off off the side of the hill here. Get a shot of all the amazing Hobbit houses. This is so awesome, they have all these little, all these little mini games set up up here. Like throw the ball in the cup. I don't know what that is. Throw the rope on the tree. This one's probably my favorite. Knock down the barrels. I love places like this. It's like being back at the Rena Renaissance Festival almost. It's just like so much imagination. And I just think that's so important. It's so much fun. Like never lose your imagination. It's like half the fun in life at least. I am running out of time super quick. The sun like was going down behind all the clouds. So gotta find a spot here. Pronto. Oh my God, the fog just rolled in so hardcore. I'll definitely have to keep the drone like close because I'm gonna have to be able to see those red flashing lights. Otherwise I might just fly it off into the mist. Like what if it rolls in so hardcore I can't even see it? I'd have to hit the return to home and just like trust it comes back to me. Finding life along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create. Holy crap, as soon as I popped the drone back in the air, of course it was getting darker, 
but the thickest cloud so far rolled over. So it was kind of a success. There was like no visibility, but I didn't lose the drone and I kind of got a shot of the place. And my coffee's still sitting on the fence post here from when I started. But yeah, I did not anticipate how wet the drone was gonna get because we're in a freaking cloud, man. So it was just like soaked when it came back down. I just dried it off with my shirt. Hey, muchas gracias. Dale, hermano, gusto. Buenas noches. That guy was super, super cool. I'm like, can I fly a drone? He's like, oh, of course, of course, why not? So that's really awesome. And it's great promotion for them. Come out here, because I guess he had experience growing in like a similar climate and elevation. Good job. <laughs> what a life. Cripes, guys. This walk down. So awesome. Actually, the, the fog just cleared up in this area, but it's been like walking through a graveyard on a spooky night, except on the top of a mountain in Guatemala in just like a super epic uh, setting. But yeah, it's obviously getting really dark, so I will catch up with you guys a bit later back at the hostel or, yeah, in Antigua. Dang! There's the butterfly house with the light reflecting off of it. That's insane. Guys, I'm so disappointed right now. That, we just went to like a small bar that had amazing music. It was really fun. But like, I'm so freaking hungry and I ordered food like basically when I got there. They forgot to put my order in. Served a bunch of people that came in after me and then they finally served me and they served me a chicken curry instead of a veggie curry. And I just sent it back and left. I was just too frustrated at that point. I thought I'd be back like over an hour ago. I've literally spent well over two hours a day waiting for food that I can't even eat because of the vegetarian thing. I hate to complain, like I'm having a great, great day, but it's definitely frustrating when you just sit there and wait and you're fucking hangry and then you get food that you didn't even order. By the way, this is our hostel. It's a super sick little six bed dorm. Yeah, just gonna drop my stuff here now, uh, charge my phone a little bit and then head out to grab food because man, I'm so hungry. And I'm like, I get hangry, I get sensitive. My mood like curves when I'm hungry. I, I just need food and then I'm like happy and good to go. So food, edit, and then hopefully good sleep tonight. And tomorrow we are heading to Driftwood Hostel on the coast. It's gonna be so sick. I've heard really good things about it. And yeah, overall I'm still super, super excited to be here, obviously. The food thing today is just frustrating. It would be anywhere, you know? Ah, oh, this is awesome. Stepping out onto the streets here in Antigua at midnight. <laughs> I haven't really been out this late. Well, I guess I was last night when I was drinking, but that was with a lot of friends. Look at the dog up the street there. Okay, so I've been laying in my dorm bed for a while, watching some YouTube, relaxing, and this random cat all of a sudden busts the window open, like the shutter kind of blocking. Hey, Pedro. <laughs> busts through the window, comes into the room, jumps up on the bed, like steps over my head, starts crawling under my blankets, and then like lays on my chest for a while, and then lays by my feet for like the next hour, and it's still just passed out in my bed. You can sleep with me tonight. But yeah guys, I just wanted to say, the whole food thing, I get hangry, it happens. But yeah, it was a great, great day overall. Going to the Antigua football game. They won, it was a ton of fun. Way more fun than I expected it to be. The energy was awesome. Uh, the people here are just so nice and fun to be around. And then going up to the Hapitenango Lodge. And yeah, that was just one of the most amazing things. I'm so blown away by that. I really hope I can go back there next time I'm in Antigua. But yeah, please hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out, means a lot to me. Let's me know you guys are enjoying the videos. Subscribe if you haven't. Epic series in Guatemala. We got another two and a half weeks here. And yeah, I hope you all have a great night. We'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. You. I always seem to make the same mistakes. 
Too quick to fall, too fast to push away